this crushing machine I bought more than a couple months ago and uh, no time to to take care of it so recently I'm going to use uh, my Finland extruder so uh, it seems I can extrude something so now next is uh, I have to recycle my stuff so um, this time I well it's weird this is my bedroom so <laughs> uh, it's typical Hong Kong we, we don't have uh, enough space either kitchen dining room or uh, bedroom is uh, our warehouse so um, this is the, the past uh, before I used to make the robot head now I try to use uh, recycle uh, to recycle this, and uh, coming next. So before I cover the lid, I want to show you how crazy of the lid. Even I use the very low power. Oh, again! Don't put the finger inside. Of course, I will not put my finger inside, but I will put the robot finger inside so uh, actually I know you cannot when I turn on the machine will induce a very crazy noise and uh, more than 130 dB uh, I have to close my door but uh, I'm not sure whether you you can hear through the the microphone and okay come in this uh, still has a very big pass inside and uh, you can hear the plane taking and the wind is uh, still not yet fine and uh, let's go now. It's uh, almost done. So suddenly, I adjust uh, the timer to two and a half minutes. And uh, let's see. Uh, I feel a bit hot on the lid. And uh, there will be some dust come out. Uh, well, do you think this is good enough? It's fine enough to put in the extruder? I believe so. So uh, next, um, in next video, I will use if I got successful with the raw pallet uh, of ABS, then I will use this uh, recycled materials for my experiment. Oh, yeah, sorry. So, this is uh, after using the crushing machine, and um, you can have a very fine pallet. And uh, I'm sure if you're going to recycle some uh, ABS parts, this is uh, good enough for your filament extruder. So I may put some uh, of this uh, machine on eBay, then um, maybe if you have interest, you can order this for me.